Hello, hello everybody. God bless you. God bless the world. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was formless and empty. And God said, let it be a light because the Spirit of the God hovered the waters of the deep. My brothers and sisters, water used to be before there, okay? This is the way water is, <laughs> is a, something God created. H-O-2 they call him. And the Spirit of God is the water of heaven. The Spirit of God is the goal of God. The goal of God is like a living water. And from the belly flow even living water. This day, the Lord say, if you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe your heart, Father God raised him from the dead, you'll be saved. Simple like that. Okay? And what else you do? You ask the Holy Spirit. Say, Holy Spirit, come fill me up with your love, with your joy, with your peace and power to go out to be a witness of your resurrection. Because my brothers and sisters, how will we be saved? But we believe in the resurrection. In Greek, we say, Christos Anesti. Jesus is risen. And that's the way the people years ago used to be saved, call the name of Jesus. And the Bible says, whosoever call by the name of the Lord, they be saved. You are the whosoever, I'm the whosoever. And I call Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And I'm telling you, Jesus means salvation. In Greek, called sotiras. I love it. I love it. I love it. How beautiful God make it. Today, my brothers and sisters, I want to take you on a trip to heaven. That's the reason you say me, I dress like that. And because in heaven, it's everything sparkling. Everything is beautiful. It's alive. No dead things. The Lord, I have the blessing and humbleness opportunity, the Lord to take me twice in the beautiful kingdom of heaven. It's a kingdom. Hell is a, is a place and heaven is a place. It's not just blah, blah. It's a reality. Yes, the third heaven is real. And how we go to heaven? Okay? Just pray. And the Lord say, Lord, I want to know. I want to know. Show me my house. Show me my place. I don't know where I'm in service. And uh, one morning, one o'clock, I'm in the theater, and we pray with a lot of brothers and sisters. And the cloud came from heaven, the, the, the beautiful glory of God. And God suddenly take me from my natural body to the supernatural, and I mean, show me the stars. And I have them here, I keep a little nose there, and I keep all the stars. And I never belonged to NASA, but God take me to heaven with not even wearing mask. With an even having my spiritual body can go through the buildings like the way Jesus do. That's your spiritual body. You have the natural body, but you have a spiritual body too. Yes, and you can go through the walls. The devil cannot do that. The devil only can come if you open the door or open the window. You know, they cannot, they cannot come there. The devil cannot read your mind, only can throw darts in your mind. They cannot read. He not think he's smart. He's sneaky, that's all he is. He's not smart, he's not creating nothing, he's destroyed. God is the creator of heavens and earth. Jesus came to give you life, a life more abundantly. The devil come to kill, sell, destroy. Every people have the spirit of darkness, that's all they do. This is the way you know if the people have God or not. The people destroy things, then I have God, the spirit of God, because the spirit of God is alive. So when my brothers and sisters, Start speak life to you. Receive the life from heaven and speak life. Wh whatever you speak, whatever you sow, you reap too. It's the way if you sow love, you reap love. If you sow blessings, you receive blessings. If you sow a car, I, I, I sow seven cars. You know how many cars came back to me? Nine. Nine cars. And, and see how you got all these cars? Because I sow. So and reaping is a beautiful thing and it's work to everybody. Now, you, you, you know, only to Christians, to everybody, because everybody on earth created by God. What people, what spirits ended on them, make them what they want. What they want. You remember every baby, no matter what country you are, you say, you India, the baby is born Hindu. How do they come to life? They have to, they need to have the Holy Spirit to live, okay? Where they come? The doctors have the belly. Hit them little, the breath of life came. The breath of life come from God. No matter if you're Muslim, the breath of life come from God. No matter if you're an Hindu or whatever you are, they, because the Spirit of God hovers the waters of the deep, never stop. And if you need the breath of life, this atmosphere you live created by God for you and me to live and breathe. And God give you time. Maybe 70 years, maybe 100 years, 120 years. If you receive Him, now He's give you eternal life. You see, he's given you the natural life, but if you receive him in your spirit, okay, you can have eternal life. 
You see how easy a symbol is? Okay, it's not complicated. You know, no matter if you are Hindu, if you denounce the devil and ask Jesus to be your Lord and Savior, you'll be saved. No matter if you are Muslim, you denounce the Muhammad and ask Jesus to be your Lord and Savior, you'll be saved. Simple like that. Salvation belongs to everybody, to any creation on earth. The Lord says something to me, Socrates, tell them all, anything I create is good. I say, God, why are these people the goofy? Say, because their own spirits enter on them. All my creation is good, but if they... Wrong spirit said there are them, they do wrong things. If they have my spirit, they do good things. This is the way my brother says, the will of God, read by the spirit of God. If you read the will of God, receive his spirit, and I'm going to have the spirit of God. If you read the, the Muhammad's book, they are the Quran, you have the spirit of Muhammad. If you read the certain other books, you know, you have the spirit of the person who wrote the book. If I write the book, have my spirit too. You know, this is a way for us when I wrote the will of God. This is the power. The enemy afraid the world. You know why? Because the will of God with the spirit of God can cast him out. That's the way it is. Because the enemy knows the will of God. You remember Jesus talked to him, you know, in, in the wilderness? You remember? Why the Holy Spirit led Jesus to wilderness? To overcome the work of the enemy. And he speak the word, and the enemy speak the word, but the Lord speak by the Spirit of God, because the Holy Spirit is in him. This means the word of God inside you with the Spirit of you have a power. have a power to destroy, because I know a lot of people know the word, but they don't receive the Spirit of God, who wrote the word. You know, and the word alone, with not the Spirit and not the name, is not creating nothing. We need the Holy Spirit, because flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Only those who have the Spirit of God. This is the way my brothers and sisters ask again. Say, Holy Spirit, come up on me. Baptize me. Connect my spirit with you, Holy Spirit, Lord. I can hear your voice. You can hear mine. Like a cordless internet with heaven. You connect. You have hot line. You with daddy. And the, what's happening with the Holy Spirit? Give you a special language. You can speak in the heavenly language. Say, the language is in heaven. And you have a hotline, the devil can understand that. In Greek, called glossolalia. It means you speak in different tongues. The devil can understand that, my brothers and sisters. That's the privilege to be a fill of the Holy Spirit. You talk to your papa, and papa talk to you with the spirit of that. And that's the way that God took me to heaven and show me all the stars. And from up in heaven, I see a little, little, little bit the earth. The earth looks so little tiny. The more I come down, the earth gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And after I came down to earth, on the other side from Africa in Madagascar. And I see a big fireball came from heaven and splash the Indian Ocean, the Spirit of God, splash this and start the world revival there. The angel number one. We have a four angels, four corners of the earth. The angel number one is our side, Africa. And this angel move, the number one angel move in the, in the Indian Ocean, and the Spirit of God is like a tsunami flow. A revival hit Australia, New Zealand, the islands, Philippines, and uh, Polynesian islands, all the islands there, Hawaii, and the Spirit of God splash in the, in the, in the Americas from up, North to Canada, down to Chile, splash there. A big revival come to America. The angel number two, my brothers and sisters, is our side, Los Angeles. Our side, United States. Maybe you think accidentally like call the city of angels? No. The angel number two is our side, LA. And the angel move in the land of the United States. A revival come to America. Revival come to America, my brothers and sisters. Souls be saved. And the angel came in the place in here, they call Gulf of Mexico. And stir the waters in the Gulf of Mexico. A revival start hitting to Mexico, to Texas, to Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Florida. A revival come. And the angel go through the gates of Tampa Bay's in clear water. And revival start hit. And ministers left from Tampa Bay and go around the world, around the world. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm telling you, the word revival is coming. But what's happened? The kingdom of God is planned to be reached all over the world. And now the, the angel goes through Mickey Mouse town, and re repentance come in, and destruction come in, because idols there, 
We have a lot of idols in Florida, my brothers and sisters. People worship in idols. In Miami, worship dolphins. In Gainesville, worship alligators. In Jacksonville, uh, uh, panthers. In uh, Orlando, Mickey Mouse. You know, we have to start stop worshiping idols, okay? And worship the Lord. You know, and don't ever raise your hands this time you go to football games. Because whatever you raise your hands, you worship what they are down. You don't surrender in these type of situations. Surrender only to the Lord. I'm telling you, God planned to break all these goofy things going on. And don't go to the press like in Louisiana, have the press and raise your hands up or the inboard sitting here, people to throw you bits because the devil is tricky to worship all the idols come through. Only worship the Lord, not surrender to nobody else except to Jesus. Hula satalala baba. I'm sorry I talked to you like that, you know, because I have to really wake you up there because people go. Sunday morning, we have a church, and I go to church, we go to see a football game to, to worship the balls there. Or tennis ball, or football, or the other ball, or basketball. We have to stop worshiping the balls, worship the Lord, guys. Okay, that's the enemy, is a trick you there. Okay, in Jesus' name. I break the spirit of, of goofiness and the spirit of God to you. Oh, la sata, la la bamba. And the angel go across the Atlantic. And as I go Gibraltar, Gibraltar, you know Gibraltar, the place that Morocco connect with the, um, Portugal and Spain there, is the angel number three. And then you're moving to the Mediterranean area and the revival going, hitting Africa and Europe, a revival going, souls come to the kingdom from Africa, millions of souls coming from Europe, from Mediterranean area, the islands, Italy, Whew, a lot of souls come to the kingdom because the gospel will be preached by the evangelists. By the evangelists. Always pray from the evangelists around the world because these are the people who carry the good news and most of them they be killed in the fields. You know how many evangelists kill every day around the world? You know, you know, lots of them. Lots of them because they minister the gospel. You think the gospel is free? People die from the gospel. For us in America, we have the Bible free. We are a place. That go to North Korea, they cannot have you have the Bible, they cut your, your neck. Or go to China now, they put their own Bibles there. So we be blessing to live in the United States, be blessing the countries they have the Bible is free and read them. And read them because a lot of people die from this Bible to come out. A lot of people die in the Middle Age too. This is the way now the angel go around the Mediterranean and a revival hit in, in Europe, in North in Africa, around there, and souls come to the kingdom. And this time we come outside Cyprus, everything stops. Nothing moves. Wow. Between Cyprus and Israel. Whew. There's another angel there. Angel number four outside Israel. But nothing moved. And I said, Lord, what's happened? Nothing moved. Nothing. And a big fireball in all the colors hit Jerusalem. Splashed Jerusalem there. And 144,000 virgin young men start to go around the hall. And minister the gospel. I'm telling you, Israel plan to be saved. Jews plan to be saved. Evangelists plan to come out of Israel and go to minister in South Arabia, go to minister in Egypt, go to minister in so many countries in, in Lebanon and Syria. You know, it's beautiful. I'm telling you, my brothers and sisters, it's a hope from everybody. God plan to minister his gospel all over the world. God is a good God. You remember he's go down in the center of the earth and minister the gospel to the people die before him and lots of them resurrected with him. They resurrected power, resurrected a lot of people with him and run around Jerusalem that time. But now, you see the gospel of the kingdom plan to preach all over the world. I don't care what the people do in North Korea. Angels plan to come and minister the gospel in North Korea. How can be Socrates? Angels come and minister the gospel? No. Who minister the gospel? No. Angels. Look in here. Go to Revelation 14. Come on, guys. You think God have not have a plans? You think God can stop? God have everything. Go to your Bibles, Revelation 14. I read it for you myself. There's a way to see in here what he said. Revelation 14, and the number is a 6. Listen here. Then I saw another angel flying in the mid-earth and had the eternal gospel to proclaim to those who live in the earth, to every nation, tribe, language, and people. And he said in a loud voice, Fear God and give him glory because the hour 
of his judgments had come. Worship him and made the heaven, he made the heavens and earth and the sea and the springs and the water. My brothers and sisters, God is never stuck. Never stuck. God has a plan. He's given opportunity to us to minister the gospel. But if we are lazy, we will not go. He's finding somebody else. And if somebody does not go, angels plan to go. And if the angels, something happens, he's go personally himself. Go to here, to Turkey, or go to Iran to see how many people have visions and dreams from the Lord Jesus Christ. Himself personally. The men in white and the light that call him. The men in white. This is the way my brothers and sisters, we live in special times. Repentance is come first. Repent, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Okay? And us, the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost to live with you. You are the temple of God. We have to really receive it, the temple of God. Receive it, the Lord Jesus Christ, in our hearts. Say again, I confess with my mouth, Jesus is my Lord. And I believe my heart. Father God raised him from the dead. And I know I'm saved. Now, Lord Jesus, send me the Holy Spirit to baptize me with your love, with your joy, with your peace and power to go out to be witness of your resurrection. Lord Jesus, thank you for choosing me. My brothers and sisters, we have a job to do. Go out and heal the sick. Don't wait for your pastor to do it. No, you have a job to do it. You have the Holy Spirit, you have a job to do. Raise the dead. Yes, raise the dead. Cast out the spirit of death and invite the spirit of life and people come to life. It's easier to raise somebody from the dead from to heal a headache because the person with the head is in the middle. This is the way I pray with you and I release in here, my brothers and sisters, the love of God to you and I blow my sofa in here to you to take you back. <laughs> Wait, wake up, God. Wake up. Jesus is coming soon, sooner than people think. And I pray you have a counter with the Lord, and I pray for you. You have a presentation. You can see your Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, and be in heaven. That's my goal. That's the thing I'm doing here, to really empty hell and full heaven. That's what I'm doing. Love you. Bye-bye. Very soon you have a, from the Kingdom Life University, and Elihana planning to sing, to sing for us. We love you. Mwah.
All the information is packed with everything I need to understand the word and that's really what I was looking for is a foundation and that's what I'm getting so I love it. I'm Ellie Rayburn I go to Kingdom Life University I enjoy everything that I learn there it helps me to equip myself and empower myself for the kingdom of God so I can go out and share Jesus Christ with the people of the world. My name is Kaylin and Kingdom Life University has been such a blessing to me. It really is helping me dive deep into the Word. I'm sitting in class and getting revelations. It's really bringing the Word to life even more than before. It's really giving me that hunger for the Word and I just absolutely love it. Hi, my name is Robert McCurin. I'm the director of the Kingdom Life University. And if you are looking for a, an opportunity to grow deeper and learn more about who God is and what Jesus means to you, go to Kingdom Life University. What a blessing, what a blessing today we have in here in our program, the president of the Kingdom Life University, one of the best gospel schools around the world to create, to produce a new disciples from all the nations. It's nice to have you here. Well, thank Mrs. you. Jerry thank Brown. you. God so bless you. Thank God you bless so much. You. You know what, I'm really enjoying your broadcast. I see that God's going to be using it in the nations. What's so exciting is that this is geared to the nations of the world. And yes. You're in 83 different nations with this network. Uh, I just want to say that Kingdom Life University, and you're a part of that, you're our international director, ambassador for Kingdom Life University. You've opened campuses just the last 30 days in Greece and Israel and England and at, in, uh, or, uh, and we work Atlanta, in Germany Atlanta, now in Atlanta, Atlanta. Atlanta. Tennessee. Wow. And in, and the, in Tennessee. In Tennessee. So God is beginning to use this man in a powerful way to raise up disciples. 
Kingdom Life University is a great place to get your training. Our theme, the theme of our university, Socrates, is training for reigning. Hallelujah. We believe this is the season of the kingdom of God now, not just in the future. Oh, yes, it's coming in the future. Jesus is going to reign from Jerusalem. But until then, we can reign in life now. That's what the book of Romans yeah. says. Yes. I, I respect everything you're doing here for many years. I know you we know each other for many, many years. We have. For Minister on the streets. Years. Minister on the streets yes. and minister on the kingdoms and the palaces and now in different parts in the world. The thing is, today we're talking about the world revival. Oh, re world uh, revival. And it's a beautiful and the 144,000 in here, they plan to left from Jerusalem, yes. from Israel, go around the world. And uh, the, the angel number four is outside there from Jerusalem. Yes, yes. And the fireball hit in here in oh, the, powerful, Israel. Powerful. And the angel go around Iraq and go around yes. Russia, the Lord stand the cloud. I, when I tell you the Lord stand the cloud, I say to the angel, go around wow. because Iran and Iraq plan to fight each other together. Yes. The way yes. Jesus, my brother, is coming soon, sooner than people yes, think. Yes, he is. And I just want to say, if you want to look for a place to get your training, training for reigning, Kingdom Life University, KLUonline.com, go and check us out because you're going to find that this is a place that honors Christ, honors the Word of God, Christ is the center of our university. I'm telling you, it's powerful. We're crucified with Him. We're buried with Him. We're risen with Him. We're seated with Him. And now we reign with Him. And yes. this is what's so exciting. Well, we've got to close it off here. But, man, it's so good to be with you, Socrates. Thank you it's for blessing. letting us present the university. That, and uh, yeah, and that's it is all about. This program is to make disciples and give them hope. My brothers and sisters, go out to do exactly what Amen. Jesus has done. Don't get lazy. Don't expect somebody to do it. We love you. Amen. Bless you. God bless.